Hey there YouTube, what's up? It is Matt Carl being of Z3 and today I'm going to show you how to custom spray paint your own guitar. This guitar here is a Squire Stratocaster by Fender and uh, we're going to custom spray paint it. Uh, some things you need are uh, various types of screwdrivers such as this Phillips and uh, just various sizes. Um, you also need some spray paint of course and a soldering iron. So uh, first thing you want to do is take off the strings of the guitar. Alright, so now that you have all the strings off, as you can see, uh, you're going to want to flip the guitar over and take off this back faceplate. Um, you can use one of the various types of screwdrivers. Alright, so now that you have all the screws out, make sure you put them in a safe place. And you can take off the uh, back faceplate. And now you see that there are three springs held in tension uh, by these two screws. Now right, what you're going to want to do is slowly loosen both of them and uh, until you can take these springs off. Alright, so now that you have the two screws out far enough, you can just take these springs and they sort of just pop out from the main from the bridge. Uh, just kind of wiggle it out. There we go. And here's the second one and the third one. Alright, so now that you have all, this, uh, all the springs taken off, you can take off this back face plate that holds the neck on. So just take uh, one of your screwdrivers and unscrew it. Alright, now that you have this back face plate taken off, you can just flip the guitar over and slowly just remove the neck. It's kind of just wedged right in there. And there you have it. That's just the neck of the guitar right there and just place it off to the side and now that your soldering iron is warmed up you can desolder this wire alright so now once you have this wire desoldered from the metal you can now just take out these screws fully and place them off to the side alright so now you can flip the guitar over and take out the six screws that hold in the main bridge. So here we go. And there we go. There is the bridge. You can just set that aside. Alright, so now you want to unscrew these two screws that hold in the chrome input plate for the um, for the guitar amp. Alright, now you have those two screws removed, you can turn it over and see that there are two wires soldered to the input jack that you're going to need to uh, unsolder if you want to take off this main scratch plate. So here we just take our soldering iron and unsolder them. Alright, so now that you have desoldered the two wires from the input jack, you can now take off all the screws that are on the perimeter of the scratch plate. Make sure not to confuse these with the two that uh, that hold in the pickups and the two that hold in the um, 5A switch because you don't really need to take those off. Alright, now that you have all the screws out, you can just slowly lift off the... There we go, lift off the scratch plate. And these two wires are going to come out through a little hole. Yep, there we go. And as you can see that they, um, there's also another wire that is secured to a tiny little screw right here that you're going to need to uh, All right, once unscrew. you have that screw undone, you can now take out the full body of the scratch plate. And there you have it. You have the body of the Stratocaster uh, all ready to be demolished and... Uh, repainted. Alright now in preparation for painting the guitar you want to check on the back of your spray paint can to see what the actual preparations are for the surface before painting. I mean some um, some requires you to sand and prime it, some requires you to just sand it. Uh, this Krylon, for fu Krylon Fusion for plastic um, doesn't require any preparation that's why uh, that's why I like to use it a lot. And uh, so I'm just going to lay down a few coats and then I uh, will go on from there. So here we go.
All right, so the black is dried. Now I laid down the design with blue painter's tape. And now I'm just gonna go over it with yellow spray paint a couple of times uh, until I get the right color. So here we go. All right, now I'm gonna do a coat of this clear lacquer uh, from Rust-Oleum. It's gonna give it its nice clear shine and it's gonna protect the paint um, from all the use. So here we go. All right, so the back of the paint can lied. You definitely should be sanding the guitar before painting. Uh, as you can see, some of the black has um, came up with the painter's tape. So uh, to make sure that everything bonds correctly, you definitely would want to be sanding the guitar down. Um, but I personally kind of like the look of the red, black, and the yellow. So uh, now that everything is done and everything has a clear coat over it to protect the paint from uh, um, any scratches or dings, um, now you just have to reassemble the guitar just the same way that we disassembled it. So, here we go. And there you have a custom spray painted guitar. If you guys have any questions at all, you can comment on this video or send me a message through YouTube. And be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya.